Oh, sorry. Today is Friday, September 28th. Ow! Good to you again? Yes! Today is. Oh, we already told you. Um, Please stand for a moment. Should we do the silence? Followed by a moment of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, starting this evening, we're going to be asking you and giving you the responsibility to take your lanyards home with your IDs. So after the end of the day today, you're going to put your laptops back, but you're going to keep your IDs with you. On Monday and every day moving forward, you'll be asked to bring your ID to school. As middle school students, we trust that you'll be able to bring home your items and bring them back. Please make sure you have them because remember your IDs are used for breakfast, lunch, and also um, to get into school if you are late, as well as read books from the library. Now that you have your IDs when you come to school, moving forward, if you would like breakfast when you enter the building, you are going to be asked to get your breakfast at the start of your entry. All you need to do is use the staircase in the main lobby, enter, go to your line, get your breakfast, and then you go to your locker and go to your advisory class. Any student who is not getting breakfast and needs to go upstairs will simply use the staircases to the sides of our main lobby. You will not have access to the main staircase in the lobby due to that being only accessible for students with breakfast. Additionally, we're asking for any student who needs to move from A to B hallway or B to A hallway to please use the walkway by the window and to leave the cafeteria space only for students who are getting breakfast. Forgot your ID? No problem, there are two solutions. One, as long as you know your student ID number, you will still be able to punch that number in to get your breakfast. Option two, in the bookstore, Mrs. Paul will have access to a printer uh, and you will be able to print a new copy of your ID for $5. Students, now that we have our lanyards, there's no reason to be late to our first period classes moving forward. If the breakfast line is moving slowly and you're in line when you should be, you will get a pass to make sure that you can get into class. Otherwise, students will be counted tardy going to first period. Make sure that when you come to school, you use your time wisely, you get your materials ready, and you head to class. If you are getting breakfast, you will enter the building, go directly to get breakfast, and then head to class. Changes made to the bookstore. 
It is open for students on Monday from 9 to 3, and you must have a, this pass to come down to the bookstore. And make sure you come to the Lost and Found to come get your lost things. So, you know, someone won't take it like Anaya is here. So. My pink stuff at home, you feel me, dog? Oh, you meant like pink. I thought you meant like. You must. Hey Falcons, did you miss out on ordering Northview Spearwear? Well, there are extras in the bookstore. Come buy some today. September 24th at 7.30. There's a choir concert. Come support your Falcon. Be there or be square. College Go Week. We are going to be showing different colleges. With many differences between them. So you can pick your favorite college. <laughs> Next week is College Go Week. So wear your spirit wear to support your favorite college. <laughs> <laughs> Show up your college growing spirit. Yeah! Well, that's pretty Next nice. week. Let's check it out. Shut the camera off. See the batteries. Check it out. Got it. Watch out. Oh, can I actually see Watch scared? out. Move. Thanks no, move. For watching. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys. Want you want to support my local? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? That's so good. <laughs>